Back I'm gonna get there by that. I'm gonna get there by that six. Oh man, we're back with another episode <laughs> of Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time, there was a man named Scale. <laughs> Let me take these glasses off. I was really only rocking them. Let me get them, bro. If you taking them off, let me get them, I was really only them, rocking them because Scale likes his glasses even in the daytime, uh -huh. you know? Makes him feel comfortable. I'm actually wearing a, I just, that's why I'm here a little bit late. I went and got some uh, Versace's last night. He said he was late, actually. He's, he's two minutes early. It just turned four o'clock yeah, like one minute ago, so but, I'm late. But it's 15 minutes early. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, okay, so here we are right now. We got we literally only have 10 minutes, so this might not be the only once upon a time. Maybe we can do some more in the morning. Maybe we're going to do some more in the morning. And this the reason be is because eight. I have to help set up the show. The show goes on in two hours, and I still have like two hours of work. But oh. it's, hard, it's hard hatter, you know what I'm saying? So he gets He up. goes to bed at like 8.30 every time I try to call him at uh -huh. night. He's like, oh, bro, I'm, I'm asleep. I'm waking up at 4.30. What's the time difference, so, though? We have like... See, I, two hours, I'm a difference. night owl. He's an early riser. I'm not. Yeah. Early you just, you riser, just, night owl. Anything that, that he's supposed to get it done at night, I'll get it done at night. You just don't sleep. He doesn't sleep. That's what Oh, sleep. man. So we have a once upon a time. I'd say I met Jason literally a couple years ago at Art Basel. We, we both did like the, the triple take on each other. Right from there, he was the realest ever. He said, oh, you're a hatter? Then make me a hat right now. We literally went straight outside, took a picture on top of the car. We were sitting on top of the car and posting up, literally made him a hat in front of Art Basel, one of the biggest shows at Art Basel. Mm -hmm. And now we've been friends ever since. He has literally taken me under his wing. I'm a younger kid and he has been able to nah, literally- Nah, that's not true. Don't, don't listen to him. We're I just turned 21 years old. We're like, <laughs> we're right here. There ain't no, there's none of this. We're I'm right a little here. younger than him. So I just feel like I'm younger in the game of art. And he's helped me out and hooked me up with just knowledge of I don't but, see, but I don't. I don't even consider that like a hookup. I consider that like, like when you can I cuss? This is explicit. So, but like when like when I fuck with someone to be straight up with you, like that's what you do. Like you don't, you don't just say, hey, like that's another artist. I want to see him succeed. Like that's not why I did it. Like I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like yo, like I got Steve Aoki who just ordered a piece. Like let's like he he's known for wearing dope hats. You know, let's put him in a dope ass hat. Um, we literally you know, met so. him at the airport. That well, he was owes crazy. me one though. He he got Logan Paul. He didn't hook me up. You know what I'm saying? So he kind of owes me one right now. Logan Paul was a gift. <laughs> that was a random gift out of nowhere. And I, and I also owe him another one. He he invited me out to his birthday party. He's like, Yo, bro, just come out to the Bahamas. No, where, Logan, you where were you at? I didn't know that. No, where'd you fly out? Oh, for your I birthday? did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BVI. Oh, yeah. Was yeah, that yeah, when yeah. you were doing that? British Virgin Islands. Mm. That man was at. And I was like, yeah, I'll be there. And then I didn't show up literally yeah. the day before. I was like, bro, I can't go. I got other things to do. $20,000 $20, mansion. I don't come for money. So this is like new to me. The $20,000 mansion, like four stories, like all glass windows. I'm like, yo, Logan, all you have to do is just get your flight for a week and we're chilling. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. <laughs> the old, I'll Never come dip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But hey, but you seen the videos though, and you were probably like, Fuck. I know, just yeah, my yeah. gut was. And then missing. we met, we hung out on Richard Branson's island, met Richard Branson, took us on a private tour of the island. Shake my head in broad daylight. Yay, Dali. <laughs> but dude, I would say your life is a work of art, right? Everything that you're doing, uh -huh. every move that you're making, everything that you're thinking is, has been a work of art. And it's all the way down from servicehood to humbleness to giving to. He's not going to tell you, he gives a lot. He yeah. gives a lot all the time. He flew out yeah, to just, Houston the other yeah. day and just, he literally gives. The Houston Astros, we raised uh, 300,000 in art sales for the Houston Astros, you know, and actually goes to the cause to actually help uh, like the Humane Society, animals and stuff. How do you Houston. choose the, the, uh, the I guess, the, uh, the foundations that you're wanting to give? You know what? To? That's a funny question you said that. Like, so many an, people I, are like, can you give to this? Well, can you I, give had to an, this? I had an issue with that, right? So like at first I was like, Kids, kids, cancer. Uh, you know, uh, like we we're talking about animals, cervical, can all these different cancers and stuff. And I said, man, I was like, you know, uh, domestic violence, all these things. I said, would it be great to start one charity and then I could be tied to it and it could be my own thing, or could I use this gift that I have with art that actually generates so much money to go out and say, I'm going to help that, 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 that. So it's really everything. Right. Everything so it's really, I, wherever your heart's called. Yeah, and I actually, moment. believe it or not, I actually say, I say no to certain charities. Well, so I was going to say, everybody, everybody, there's so many great causes out in the world. But some of them you have to like, 
you can kind of have a conversation with someone and you're like, ah, oh, this isn't it. Like, mm. this is this seems like the money's not going in the right area. You right. know. So you but really then, like to know where your money's going, see it, see it being yeah, used to, to raise. Because I don't grow. make any money. I'm 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 zero profit. I make zero profit off of it. Not even, not even cost of art. Like I literally donate the whole thing. So not even gas money. No, not no. even gas money. You know why he doesn't have gas I'm money? Because he's, making... he's not driving. <laughs> he's <laughs> flying. Oh my God. No, no private jets though. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my jet. It's the 24 foot Mercedes van. That's pretty much hey, it. By the it, way, it, 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 by hey, the way this is this. a women's outfit. He's what? Doing. He, out of all the outfits, ooh, this is, hey, show, ooh, them the, show them the back. Show them the back. Ooh, what is on the back? It's Marilyn Monroe. See, ooh, you know. <laughs> ooh. I just liked it. I like the denim, you know. Hey, look, we got the audience. The audience is laughing over there. We got we got a, a crew back here looking at us live. But what you have a pretty cool story. We only got like five minutes left. No, nah, that but was definitely like cool that was definitely like eight minutes. No, just kidding. But you got you got oh we got seven, seven minutes, bro. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh though. yeah, the timekeeper keeping time. All right, shoot. What so, you got? What you got? So let's hear a summary of how you got into becoming an artist, saying, man, man yeah. I am Jason Skeldon, and this you. is what I want to do. So long story short, um, I was, I painted my whole life, um, kind of did something to, to make my, my family happy, because I was like that, I was like a normal kid, you know, I was out there partying after, college, after high school, didn't really know what I wanted to do. That's like the hardest part. And then I eventually got to the point to where I was like, you know what, I'm kind of, kind of being too much, let me help, let me do something that may not make me happy, but it's gonna make my family happy. And what I ended up doing was becoming a paramedic. So I did a pair, I was a paramedic for like eight years, you know, my, my family was, you know, proud of me or whatever. Nothing against paramedics. I fucking hated it. <laughs> I straight up, it's like, it Watch was gratifying, them. like, but like 99% of the time, like you're not, you know, like you're not doing like some like crazy, mm -hmm. like someone's, you know, heart attack or like, had to get shot off. It's, it's honestly 99% of it is transporting uh, old people, and then you get to hear how depressed they are. Mm. That's all you're doing. Did you is, find yourself getting into a weird, well, you, slow depression. What happens, or? what happens? Okay, so what happens when you hang out with downers, people that are you can't do this, you can't do that. And my life sucks. My wife cheats on me. That you start to feel like shit, you know. Mm. So when you push yourself away. So, but I was caught in it because I was making money on it. And then I wasn't even making that much money, to be honest with you. We're caught pushing in like, the world. In yeah, the we're world. Like, What's up, Danielle? <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're making we're pushing like 30 30 uh like 32,000 40,000 a year mm. you know and like I'm doing that in like two weeks one week as an artist you know so like what it's was not the about transition? the money so what ended up happening was I started getting depressed so what I, I was looking back and what used to make me happy as a kid what used to make me happy as a kid I used to paint so what I went you used back to paint to, you're a doodler you got art everywhere so I went back to what I went back to what made me happy which was painting started painting again and uh, I started realizing that like, I wasn't like suicidal, but like I was de like definitely depressed. It started changing my mindset and I was like, okay, I, okay. Then my brother was like, hey, you need a post. You need a post on your, on, on Instagram. I said, man, I'm not an Instagram guy. Instagram was, What's already, Instagram? Instagram was already out for five years. Instagram okay. was already out for five years. He said, just try it. My first post, I think got like 40 likes. Yo. For fucking one that post. That was a lot. I was like, like I didn't three. have an account yet. I didn't have an account yet. It was 40 likes. I was like, oh, I, it was a Jay-Z painting. And I was like, okay. My next one was like 70 likes. And then it just kept going. I was like. Bada had, bing, bada boom. Somebody yeah. hit the lottery. And then bing. people. Yeah. And then people, they, they all started hitting me up for art. And then within, my, my boss used to call me, uh, my name was uh, Hollywood at work. Cause I oh, was Hollywood. Yeah, I was that guy who had that tailored suit. Like I was always like, like super. I was trying like the kind of trying to be like the cool guy with the slick back hair or whatever. Bro, you're still trying to be the yeah. cool. Guy. Oh, what? What? <laughs> He's running faster than anybody out here. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, long story short, so I just basically, you know, I just threw in the towel after like maybe like two months after that after that post, mm. and I was completely done. And so every, Why? Like every Why? year, like the first year I did art full time, I tripled my salary that I was as a paramedic. Second year, tripled that. And then it's just been, you so know. So being an artist right now. It's been 12 years. And so it's been 12 years. How has your, how has your work ethic changed from, from then to now? Or has I definitely it? Work, I definitely work more. Okay. For sure. But it's, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Like if I want to pull over and get a cheeseburger, 
Yo, I don't have to. I don't have to call the man. You know, I just do what I want. Look, if, I if, eat like a quarter of my food. He eats the rest of whatever I don't <laughs> eat. Five o'clock comes around. If I'm like, hey, I want to keep working. If not, I want to go get a beer somewhere. I do it. You know. But you're up every day. You're gonna work on something every day. I think because I'm excited. Excited to work on it. What brings you excitement to your work? There's so much stuff. He hasn't said anything, but he's a cartoon lover. Yeah. He loves cartoons. And he loves drawing his own cartoons. How did you come up with your own skeletons? Why do you draw what you draw? Yeah, so I do that because of uh, I caught COVID when it first when COVID this first came out. This boy caught COVID yeah. one handed. We all did. We all did. So I caught COVID when it first came out, and uh, what I basically did was I started drawing because I needed to do something every day. So I started drawing on my iPad because I used to draw cartoons as a kid, and uh, I post one cartoon a, a day. Everyone's like, "Yo, those are dope. Those are dope." That ended up turning into a 3D sculpture. 3D sculpture ended up turning into life-size sculptures. And uh, the yeah. life-size sculptures are now even bigger than life-size yeah. sculptures. We'll get some B-roll of that, right? Man, yeah, we yeah. can get some awesome stuff. But this place is going to be so awesome. You've been working so hard, uh, I guess, leading up to this show. This is only going to be part A. We'll get it. We'll get a full detailed story one day. Yeah, I think tomorrow but, we do. We maybe tomorrow morning we can jump in and get a little bit more. Okay, so so you you're about to get everything done. You got a hectic schedule. Mm -hmm. What what made you want to come up with this? Uh, so this is this this show alone is called City Arts. Um, I've wanted. Where actually, are we? I, we're at one of the oldest hotels, Florida Hotel. Okay, it's like. Uh, I don't know exactly how old it is. It's one of the oldest hotels in, in the city. It's but basically what I wanted to do, I wanted to turn this city pretty again by painting on junkyard trash. Mm. So that's what you'll see a lot of the pieces. That's why it's called City Arts. Okay. So this whole, this is like, like a whole street art inspired. Now at the end of the year, this is a warm up for what's about to happen. At the end of the year is gonna be a huge cartoon show. It's just cartoons. Look, he doesn't even know, but I've had like 20 people hit me up to ask if I could get them a ticket. Well, okay, well, they said, what'd you say? <laughs> then I said yes. I said, no then way, said, yeah. the mayor okay, couldn't yeah. get in this thing. Uh-huh. Literally. That is the mayor right behind But bro, you want to see a magic trick? <laughs> He's gonna turn into a reptile. No, bro, look. I didn't get a go to his birthday. And I literally ghost face killed him. Just, uh-huh. right? So my hat's been a little bit off, right? Because I haven't been able to. Ooh. Oh, this is the charm. Is this the charm? Gift him a present. I was wondering why you're looking at my oh. charm. You're looking at my charm like that. Yeah. Oh man, I was so, eyeing his charm bracelet like his, his charm necklace. So I have a, so this is a charm necklace that I have for everyone that like someone that I hold dear to me, like friends and family, they buy me charms. So right now I have a bunch. So I'm hoping by the, like I had this chain, which is probably like 10 times more valuable, but this is more valuable to me. So like by the time I'm like 50, 60 years a old. A full story. Yeah, it's gonna be laced out like super nasty. Let me see, bro. All right, bro, you have to uh, open it. Yo, yeah. this better right now, this better be a heart. This better be a heart. Mm -hmm. Got the wax seal, you got your card. I'm not the best speller, right? <laughs> yeah, so my same. spell check, I don't have a spell check when I'm writing. So I just have to say spelling, question mark. <laughs> yeah, boy. And I tied it in a knot just so he had to undo it because it's just frustrating sometimes yeah, to undo boy. a knot. Excited for this one. Come on, man. And then we also wrapped it up inside of it just in case. <laughs> It's like one of those boxes. <laughs> but this is pure gold. You got diamonds. Oh, you got you gold. It, it is out. one of one. The first ever heart had her oh, pendant. Got the nasty. band in diamonds, yellow diamonds, nasty. white diamonds. This is icy. You get it? Go on ahead and put your shades on. Where are my shades? No. Put your scale shades oh, on. Oh, you threw diamonds in man, it? Man, he's going to blind you. Yo, he, he's the first oh, one. Oh, my Yo, you're gosh. The, you're the first one bro. to do diamonds, bro. Thanks. Happy birthday, dude. You're the first one to do diamonds, dog. So I got the tool in the car, and I can put that on your chain. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm doing it now. I got you. Here. Man, so we'll, we'll close it out real quick. But once upon a time, there was a man named Scale. 
<laughs> and, and the story's going to still continue. But for now, we got to put on pause because there's a lot to do tonight. We're in a three-story hotel mansion that's going to be an art show for the ages. So we'll see y'all next time. Aliens, lizards, creatures, things, whatever you want to call yourself. Mm. And that's and you put it wherever you want. Story. You put it wherever you want. Bada bing, bada boom, bro. You nice. better say it. Bada bing, bada, bada, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude.